Hello everybody and welcome to a book review with me, Shell. Now this book is what I was enabled to, to buy by Connie at CBBs. So if a lot of you from the colouring community know Connie, um, you will know how much of an able train her stream is <laughs> so thank you Connie, for this purchase this was all helped by you and i'm so excited to show everybody what it is so i've obviously it looks a bit of a messy envelope because i've ripped my address off the front so people couldn't see so ignore the fact of it which puts this lovely little stamp on now i get these books from stationery corner she is a lovely little shop that's local to me so the postage is a lot better um but the little touches she puts on a stuff like just this little smiley face fragile book you know she puts everything in these envelopes the second book i've got from her i have got symphony of cute animals from stationary corner as well and this came exactly the same wrapped up really really well so you won't be disappointed if you get um a book from stationary corner on her envelope she adds all these bits of washi tape um to her packages so i can't put a bit of theme there so here it is Woo so on the front of here she's just got thank you michelle enjoy your book at stationary corner so that's a lovely little touch and i think last time when i got symphony of cute animals she put me a load of um like chinese paper in a bit like rice paper i think it was i'm not too sure um and this time it looks like i've got something else so let's open it up they always come i will put the link in the description for a uh, etsy store if you were in the northwest and look at me but if you're anywhere in the country i don't think at the minute she's posting to the outside the uk um because of obviously postage and covid reasons but do check in with the regular she will i think she keeps it quite up to date with deliveries and stuff so she could may well be delivering now so let me just find where it's split so and her prices are reasonably, really reasonable as well. She's not out of... Not much different to all the others that are selling the books. She always backs them with this card to protect them. Oh, it feels lovely. So let's have a look what these are. Get that out of the I just love these personal touches, but especially when you get them from Etsy stores get such a personal touch than buying them from amazon or because i do believe this book is available on amazon japan it's the ken matsuda book i am not sure let me just turn the brightness down on that actually that is way too much brightness there why am i not moving there we go there's way too much brightness there i'm sorry about that everybody so this is the ken matsuda book i'm not too sure on the name because i can't read the writing um it just says ken matsuda coloring book so let's have a look what these are what i've got off stationary corner so they're just decorative stickers that you can write on by the looks of it so that's really nice of us so thank you for that so let's get into the book oh, it feels gorgeous it absolutely feels gorgeous and the illustrations that's on the front already get me excited <laughs> so the book cover is uh ooh, oh i actually like oh i like that i actually like that version but i am a bit of a black and white fan so i do like how you get this two coloured ones so let's turn the pages of these now there may be reviews on amazon of this book already but this is new to me so it's new to my channel so i'll be doing a review on it as well so i can't tell you what any of this says because i can't read it uh, but this is obviously coloured and drawn by i keep one to call yeah ken i keep one to call me something else not pen <laughs> um so that's obviously an illustration done by him and colored 
Oh, and these are so good for reference colour, do not It's like, this is what I like. I love references. So we signed all of these. So that's really nice because if you wanted to, you could actually cut them out and frame them. You could put them either side of your frame. So one month for this picture and then it's not big turn it over and put this picture in but these are some stunning illustrations they really are i mean look and the color inspo combos like you could write combos down from these pages like no tomorrow so yes so on here by the looks of it you can use water media in this book I can't tell you what he's using. I can just, that is definitely a brush. I'm not too sure what that is that he's using there. But that's good to know that you can use paints in the book. That is really good to know. And then he just gives you an example of shading and colouring, which is really nice as well. Some lovely combos going on there. They'll give you a little zoom in of what's going on there. Can you see? They're just little pictures of... Um, techniques that you can use okay, just giving you nice little pointers and he's doing all these with blushes so that's lovely isn't it good pointers so that just come back up Okay, so let's continue on. Oh, this autofocus, there we go. And then another illustration. I'm showing you what you can do with pencils. So he's demonstrating with Holbein's. So that's good. If you've got Holbein's, you could follow along. Well, I'm saying you could follow along. Maybe you could translate some of these, the wording, but I am not too sure with that. So that's nice. So the pencil, so straight away, we know we can use a wet media and you can use a pencil. I will test it out for myself, but we'll see. So this is the title page. And then we get on to the images. Look how stunning they are. Oh, Atolil, Atolil, Atolil. <laughs> I have no idea. That is a blooper moment. Um, I have coloured one of these before in Tim Jeff's book. Um, Atoloxil or something like that they're called. And you've got a frog. But what I love about these books, and the same when I saw Connie colouring it, I love anything that morphs. So anything that's got a morph in it, whether it be an animal with plants coming out the back, whether it be a chicken with a human's head on it, I love morph, things that morph. So this book is right down my alley. And I just love, you all know I love the reptile skin. You all know I love the realism. So this book is absolutely up my alley. I can't wait to get stuck in. Just look at them. Absolutely beautiful. I've got a fish like that in my tank, but it certainly don't have a beautiful tail like that. <laughs> so, oh, this is the one that um, Shannon was colouring earlier on. Today, uh, yesterday, sorry, not today, yesterday. And then we've got the crocodile so if you want to watch how shannon did that go over to chop and haze shannon at chop and haze and watch how she did it i think she used loomies and light fast in her coloring so go check her out so this has got quite a good combo there's there's like little baby croc crocodile or alligator and there's also fish in that as well they're just beautiful. I mean, look, that's running after that bird trying to give him a flower. <laughs> oh, I love it. Pig on its back. Elephants. Uh, baboon. Is it a baboon there or a monkey? I think it might be a baboon with, it, with that butt. Lovely, gorgeous fox. Is this the one that... Connie did. I know Connie did a rabbit, so it's either that one, and we'll have a look further in the book if it's not. 
lovely rhino but just look at them i just love the animals in it it is absolutely stunning oh Oh, maybe there's some more illustration, so I'll have a look at that later. And I've no idea what that is. We'll just take that out. Oh, my fave. I love koalas. They're absolutely stunning. They're absolutely stunning. This is the page that he did on the front where it shows you the tutorial. Look at, look at them. This one's different because they're not actually morphed. It's actually behind them. So I like that as well. If you don't want to do a morph, there is full animal pictures in here as well. Not just, they don't all have something coming out of them. That is stunning. Could really see that in gorgeous Japanese pinks and blacks and purples. Look at that lovely. I wonder if that's the African land snake. It looks a big one. Oh, my favourite butterflies. I love butterflies. Love a little ladybug. Wasp. This is a beaut. Absolute beauty. Little found in Nemo's. That's cute. And that's nice because it's all coral. So there's not just flowers. There's all different kinds of things crustaceans coming out of that crab so you could do some nice crystals on the back of him that's probably what i'll try and my favorite bubbles or oh, this book i am so glad connie was coloring this book it's absolutely stunning oh look at that so he's got a cobra intertwined into the I'm trying to think if it's a cockerel or some kind of hen beautiful stunning look this one's special for cat cat's watching especially for cat <laughs> oh ashley ashley's hashtag for merch oh yes i will be coloring this cockle for ashley's hashtag in march i will pop that link in the description as well this is beautiful i can't wait to dive in and do you know what i like about these flowers there's not too much detail on the petals so you you're able to color them in your own form as well because sometimes when there's loads of lines on a petal it deters from the pattern you want to get with your color pencil so i actually like it that they've not put that much detail on they've just put enough on so you recognize what it is so you've got room to put your own colours and spin on things. Love these mushrooms. Look at that little duck. Oh, I can't wait to get stuck in. I cannot wait to get stuck in. And that's the end of it. So then here is some more of his versions, I think, of each of these. And there is a Q code, so you could scan that if you've got a code on there and it may show you more information. I'm not too sure. But I love how you get these illustration copies as well because if you wanted to, you could do an exact copy of the artist if you wanted to and also the colour combinations that you can get. I absolutely love this book. It's stunning. Look at them. It was that what Connie did. They're absolutely stunning absolutely stunning they aren't single-sided so obviously whatever you do on that side you would have to check it doesn't bleed through um we do have just gonna check it's quite shiny i was just wondering if that that paper is going to be the same paper i'm just going to see if there was a test page that i could use but there isn't Because I could have had a check whether it bleed through, if we have a bleeder or not. Mm. Let's have a see. We can use this page because I'm assuming this will work. So let's try. I'm just going to get out a normal water-based marker. Then I'm going to get an alcohol-based marker. 
then I'm going to get got a neo colour here what's broken I rolled over it, it fell off and I didn't realise it fell off my desk and I rolled over it so I broke it so uh, there he is damaged a bit bent and damaged but still usable um, let me think what else can we use let me see if we can put acrylic paint on and that don't go through uh, what else can I use a neo i'll try an ink tents but obviously if you can use a neo we can use an ink tents i'll just grab any ink tents but i like doing this because at least then we can see what's in it so and we'll also get a We'll also use a faber Castile polychrome, so it's a high-end pencil, so oil base which likes layering up, so we'll test its layerability as well. So let's get started with the media test. As you know, I like doing this in my books. Ooh, you broke the last bit off. Poor little thing. So probably people won't like to do this in the books, but I don't I don't mind because I like to know what my boots will take, so let's go for it. I'm just going to put a little grid in on this side. It's just going to be how many products have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. So One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to give us six boxes. I've done this on many. Oh, I'm going to have to be careful there because my ink's running a bit. I've done this on many books, as you all know. Like I said, I honestly don't mind doing it for everybody to see what this book can take. And it's my boot to keep, so it's not like. Uh, so I'm going to use a big water based. And then I'm going to use a neo colour. Then I'm going to use an uh, alcohol marker. Then I'm using an ink tent. And then I'm using acrylic. I think they just spelled that wrong. I put my R. Acrylic <laughs> and a poly chroma. Okay, so let's zoom in. You can see what I'm doing. Put these over here. Okay, so big watercolour first. Let's go with the same theme actually. Just change the blue one. And then they're all the same colour ish. So this is just a big this is just a big intensity water brush marker pen. Just for calligraphy and stuff like that, but I do use them a lot in my books. Let me just put a piece of paper on the here. Okay, 
Okay. So let's have a see what goes through and what doesn't. And I'm hoping this just looks the same paper as we've got over there. So I've given that a good three layers of that. And then we've got our neo colour. Now it's stated on there that we can use watercolour in here. Well, it looks like watercolour. Bring that brush off before I forget. Alcohol marker. So I'm just moving these over here as I go. So this is just a Spectrum Noir Classic alcohol marker. Three layers of that. What have we got? Ink tents. So I'm using iron blue on this one. Try the site. Oh, ink tents are really nice in here as well. I love how it takes that. It just moves that water about a bit. It gives you a bit more playing room with ink with the um, ink tent on that paper. Okay, and then we've got acrylic paint. So this is just an iridescent colour switch, a Peebo paint, and it lays down very streaky on this paper so you may have to do a few layers, you see how it's quite streaky, so whether your black would go down well on it I don't know, I would have to See, but by the looks of that, it's quite streaky. And then last but not least, we have our polychromo. So I'm going to do a layer test before the page blooms. So this is mauve. So I'm just going to do a consistent line. And then I'm going to stop one layer. two layer and I'm just using I'm holding my pencil in the middle I'm just using a nice medium pressure three layers let's change direction four layers five layers Six. We're still layering there. Seven. And I'd say I've hit wax wing there enough, so going still lay going on. Nine. See if we can just get another. Yeah, I think we've hit wax wing there. It's not really changing colour anymore, it's just burnishing so nine layers of polychromo has gone on there pretty well the paper hasn't buckled very much at all if any so let me just bring that up and show everybody so they're the water medias that we've used see that there and pull the thing straight up and if you look at that page there there's not really any 
don't know why it's hitting that brightness there's hardly any buckling to the page it's pretty straight so that for water media is bang on the money with what it says so you know you can use neo color ink tents you know you're going to be able to use um a watercolor palette you can use acrylic um and let's see the all important test not even the alcohol marker has breached the page that for alcohol markers is amazing and i'm sure they are definitely alcohol markers let me just try a blue in this one because i know these are I'm sure at this these are definitely alcohol markers the new room markers right at the time where i used the alcohol marker and i'll just go down here with that one let's see if i can find a black one And again they haven't reached ever i would say maybe another layer and it probably slightly would but you know that's good coverage of an alcohol marker anyway so yeah that's a really good paper and that's a really good media test so i hope you've enjoyed this book review um of the ken matsuda book you can find the links in the description below where you can buy this book um, and please enjoy it if you do and thank you very much for tuning in to my review and media test and i will see you on my next book review bye everybody